how do I take this? Really hard. How do, how do I take this one out? talk a little bit of the challenges we have in Ocean Rig. Uh, I will be fast, I have a lot of slides to go through, so I will try to do this as, as fast as possible. Okay, we have some uh, risk evaluation on uh, Ocean Rig. We have uh, four drilling rigs and uh, two drilling rigs in Ocean Rig, and uh, we are working with accidents and air messes in Ocean Rig. Live Ericsson and pick up the Port Water Olympia and Poseidon drilling at the moment. And uh, <coughs> we are logging uh, in Hogan Star or the incidents. And uh, we report the incidents and analysis and <coughs> analyze the material we get in and uh, we look for trends. And, uh, we are looking for data programs or the best av uh, available technology to see how we can improve the visualization. We are logging the incidents, the small incidents that can lead to bigger accidents. It's important to know every incident that can lead to severe uh, incidents. It's important to know everything. Small, uh, Incidents with the well control can lead to blowout. Or yeah. We have um, risk to personal environment for the material. We uh, you know, focus on risk management and we have this risk, risk acceptance matrix where we focus on um, a lot as well as for uh, reasonable factor boss. Possible. We have a care philosophy in Oceanary, which is um, commitment and um, accountability, respect for each other, and uh, empowerment, which is care. We are mapping the AGC and the risk incidents and uh, this is a picture of uh, today's incidents at Ocean Rig. We are focusing on <coughs> improving what we have today and make things better and that's pictures of, of the situation we have today. We are using uh, the five wise technique to find out what went wrong and what we can do to improve our attitudes and improve what we can do to make things safer, for sure. We have a QHC analysis. We are focusing <coughs> on quantity risk assessment, qualitative risk matrix, and safe job analysis, <coughs> like chemical analysis, and uh, risk assessment cards to make things safer. We are focusing on the LA procedure as low as reasonable practical and we are focusing on the best available technology. I have uh, some uh, contact with IT companies to improve visualization of the incidents we have today. We want to see what we can do to make better understanding of the incidents we have today and we have to see future. Focusing is this a positive trend or negative trend on a number of incidents. 
what can we see in the future? Is the situation today will it grow? Number of incidents will we reduce the number of incidents? We have to focus on visualization of data, and that's important. We have precaution principles and substitution principles. Technology. Can technology make our job easier and make the organization a better uh, place to work? Um, what technology is the best available? I've been uh, tracking down a tracker from the US and uh, we are installing that on two of our rigs and testing it for uh, a few months to see what e tracker can do for us. To get the care cards scanned into uh, by sending data to India and um, <coughs> uh, getting the data into Excel and uh, uh, see what trends we have, make things faster, it speeds up the process to understand what we can do to make it. We have an online training portal to, uh, to see what kind, of, uh, what kind of knowledge that we have a lack of, so we have to improve that. What do we know and what do we have to improve of our uh, stuff? The most important thing we can do is improving knowledge. Knowledge is power, some place, and uh, Knowledge is important to understand what we can do to make things safer. If we don't have the right knowledge, we don't have a safe working area. So we have to improve the knowledge for everyone that is offshore by having courses for everyone that needs it. <coughs> So we are using uh, data programs to, to, for, to as an online training portal to know where to focus on the training. And we have a structure of SMS, three levels of procedures, policies, corporate procedures and area rig specific procedures. We have a um, internet where we can go in and find all the procedures that we need to get a faster understanding of what we can do in case we have an incident offshore. What, what can we do to make it safe? We can go into the right procedure and to see what we have to do. To, to if, if we have a kick, uh, we have to find out what to do to make uh, the mod thicker with the heavier Plates, heavier drilling fluid to prevent the blowout. We have training and competence in house, easy access to essential positives, either a channel or gun and gun. Uh, ensure that procedure knowledge and company confidence, individual confidence. We need to know that everyone knows what they are doing. And we know that everyone knows how to find information. So we use the internet to, to get the information fast. We also have the corporate procedures and a training matrix to know what personal needs training and uh, where to train them, how to train them, optimize training. We also have um, uh, in on internet we use Minton Safius, know who was who is doing what, we have to know who we can talk to, to solve different problems that we get offshore, of who is, go who is doing what.
and we have a structure and internet position base and we have to train the right people at like the right skills so they know what they know what to do when uh, incidents are happening <coughs> and we have uh, one example here for for safety officer and uh, technical electrical section leader And we have these barriers, the barrier concept, where we have to mitigate all accidents. We use the three G's, and uh, we don't have any accidents, so we have, must have some barriers or things that shall not happen. It's impossible to, re to get rid of all incidents, so we have to do the best to reduce it as low as possible. Reasonable practical. We have the Swiss cheese again. We are all responsible for managing HSC. Uh, everyone can do that uh, to improve it. Mm, we have one uh, cartoon here. I reduced the time in the SGA meeting prior to and did not ask the team to confirm their understanding of the task, I was responsible for planning the operation safely. I was responsible for supervising the maintenance work. I turned a blind eye to some of the crew not following all the procedures as we had limited time to do the job. I was responsible for completing the work I didn't work safely and took shortcut to get the job done. And then we have an incident. <laughs> so that's how we are using the Swiss cheese in practical. If no one is doing what they are supposed to do, we have incidents. What we can do is focusing on everyone has to know what they are going to do. So that's improving training for all the personnel that is training. We all have a part to play. We have a need to visible leadership and a HSC culture. We have to have resources allocated for effective implement implementation. Maintenance is important. Maintain equipment and ensure that the operational integrity is maintained. Hazards, ident identification, and right management plans implemented in the SGA team. A drilling, risk management, in integrated for to drilling program. Contact. Ensure that ocean rig are given the means to perform the set job safely and efficiently. HSC department guidance and advisory support provided to operations, IT data graphics, systems to control and secure stored HSC critical information, HR competencies required for job are clearly identified, legal legal requirements of projects identified and complied with, finance accounting, resource budgets effectively tracked and managed. And we have some of the deadliest accident here. It's uh, Piper Alpha in the English north part of the North Sea. We have Alexander Chalan in 1980. I was four years old and I can still remember that the lake was uh, lying in Salanya here. When that happened, Alexander Chalan, I can remember that it was yesterday. We have a sea cross tool ship, ocean ranger, a Loma Java tool ship, full high, right field, chain of helicopter, in Java Central, Baker drilling barge, Mumbai, in Usun Machi, Chinta. Some of the deadly accidents that has happened in the, in the world, and we can see the number of fatalities is very high. The five wasp blowouts was on um, 
Zetko, in der X-Software, Ecofest, Bravo-Plattform, Trainierer, Hashbach-Plattform, Union Oil, Plattform Outbauer. And you can see how many bubbles that was released to see. Da sind sie das wieder mal. Und auf dem Rick auch einige war. We have uh, also a cost. What happens? What we have? What, why does it? Why do we care about things? Cost a little bit if we can think how much it costs. If we don't care about safety in lights and uh, and in um, technical equipment, and uh, it costs extremely a lot. So that's why it's important to have the right uh, information at the right time to improve the safety. We can just say pi pi for alpha here across <coughs> extreme type of bus in Java, flight now, Mississippi, Camion, three on eleven eight hour, might be sound, Mumbai, I know, still have platforms. This one is unknown and it's expensive to avoid big accidents. I think that was all. Because we cannot get the information. 
information that fast enough. So we, I hope, hope that we can do something to improve that speed. So that's a good part. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned that uh, your uh, procedures were stored both or were available both electronically and printed in hard copy. Yes. Uh, what process do you follow to make sure that they don't get out of sync? Uh, 